I said, I I know we haven't talked in a few years. You talking to? Because I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all, probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then, with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. See, I still don't know. I hope you're there. Hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, Damon. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, nah, it's just these knees of mine, you know, it's... Reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. And now, after all this, I just thought, hell, I... Maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, my... Oh, everybody's got a choice. Deke, until they're dead. True. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? Is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us. All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Also true. It is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Also true. That it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Also true. Praying helps though. But still true. Wish it ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I think I see your point. I let him go. No fucking way you didn't. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. You told him to ride out, not come back. That was dumb. Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. I'm gonna just go and find him and kill him myself. Bye. <laughs> Look, thanks. Thanks, bro. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio. St. John. Again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing uh, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. Everything's gotta be a threat. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta threaten everybody. Like, chillax. <laughs> Mess with him again, you'll see what happens, sir. Ah, Got sir. I have absolutely.
absolutely no ammo. That sucks. Oh, we're going loud and proud now. A score to settle hot springs. I think this is just like the, the Ripper camps and the Martyr camps, and then it just lets you do it whenever you want to do it after. Not much. Follow one of our supply runs. I sent a man to check him out. He never came back. You sent anyone to find him? Yeah. A man named Deacon St. John. What's up, sir? I did it way better that time. sent me come on get up oh my god thank you thank you you're welcome they were following us on the supply run i didn't know what to do hey shut up can you run what yeah yeah well then run go thank you i'll tell Copa you saved my life you're welcome what's up man so what the hell i managed to recruit a few guys who i trust but like me aren't happy with what's going on so why am i here i wanted to give you this you were right about your wife did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. So what Damn. Out with a recon unit, east of Fort Roth. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago, local militia group. Militia group. Where's their camp? I don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now. They're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Uh oh. Hmm. Class four, hey? Hmm. Riding Nomad again. Advancing the story will temporarily lock you out of the northern regions. Enough. Bye-bye, northern regions. You know a way over the teal so um, He told me once that I... Uh, told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've... Well, what about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp, on. the things that you, you get did. Out of here. You listen me, listen me, listen to me. What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? That I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved, Mike. That's what I delivered. Mm -hmm. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me you don't come back. I got you. 
Finally. You know how long it took to get to this freaking part? And then once you get to... Like, Iron Marks is a good part. But once you get to this next part, this next part is where the game actually starts to pop off. I'm gonna save you, boy. What the hell? What's happening? That's a freaking bear. I got you, sir. Don't worry. I will save your life. And you will take me to your leader. That is a freaking bear. I tell you what. Okay. I, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Oh, I got that. I'm so good. Bye. Bye-bye, bear. Can I have my knife back? Uh, I'll take it back later. No, thanks. Yeah. There we go. I killed it. Kill a bit. Kill a breaker. Oh, I don't know what the achievement said, but I did it. You're welcome, sir. Right, right. So, freaking poked its eye out. I'm Russell, Glenn Russell. Well, it's Private Mullins. Uh, private. Hey, Rick. Military? Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. yeah. This, uh, this shoots county militia. They're not from around here. No. Yes. No, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> what? What the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. It, well, freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Mm hmm. Right now, I just saved your life. You just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah. Sure, that sounds cool. Three hots in a cot. I don't know what a cot is, but I'll take the three hots. It's probably like hot chocolate or something. You stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No. I tried to save that guy, by the way. He died. Use his ammo if you got out. You'll be fine. Okay? And go back on the roof. That'll probably be better. Maybe. Oh, democracy. Yes. Ah, good old fashioned oh, democracy. Yeah. Man, I love democracy. Let's go. Needs a sequel? I agree. This one, this one definitely needs a sequel. I agree. Daniel, 100%. Report. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. But we ran into a rager, sir. I killed it. Where's Mullins? Flores. Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. Hmm. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a... Safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. That's my rig. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Well, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. Wait. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature. And it haunts me somewhere much deeper. I've been feeling weird. I can't seem to focus good enough. Nothing's really clear. Sometimes it could be a little.